What's up, heroes? My name is Silo Clone, and welcome to Cowrie After Story, or KAS if you will. So, I'd been curious since the last video, what would Cowrie's reactions be to the other gifts? I know I, I went with the necklace. If you didn't watch that video, I'll leave the link to that in the description down below, along with up top. But let's take a look at how she would react to some of these different options and how her sister would react to us picking these different options. So, let's go right on into it. This is a good place to start. What were you thinking of getting my little sister? Oh, uh, what about some earrings? Maybe a pair of earrings? Yeah, that would be nice. What were you thinking? Sparkly earrings or wood earrings? I... Wood earrings? I almost want to click that just for the sheer fact of it, but sparkly earrings. How about these? I gesture to some sparkly ruby earrings in a case. They're a lighter red and remind me a little bit of Aura. Naomi's eyes light up. Oh, those are so pretty. I bet she'd love them. Okay, the sister's giving approval. The saleswoman wraps the present up for me after it's been paid for. And I wonder what Kauri's going to think of all of this. All right, it's time for the moment of truth. I walk around to the back of the Christmas tree where I had hid Kauri's present. As, I, as soon as I find it, I hand it to her with a grin. Merry Christmas. Her smile broadens as she takes the present. She unravels the bow on top and then rips apart the wrapping paper. Kauri's eyes light up. Aww, this is beautiful! I mean, I picked it out with you in mind. She holds up the jewelry. It sparkles against the Christmas lights. She beams, throwing her arms around me. Thank you so much! I am glad she liked it. My face spreads into a genuine grin. I mean, how could you not? When she's happy, you gotta be happy too. This is a good place to start. What were you thinking of getting my little sister? Well, what about a... What about a bracelet? Something nice, something small, still sparkly. I was thinking of a bracelet. Oh, which one? The elegant one, the friendship is magic one. What? These, these two options are always such a surprise. The elegant one, duh. I show Naomi a rose gold bracelet. It's simple and delicate. Do you think she'd like it? Naomi smiles as she gently inspects it. She'll love it. In fact, I'm kind of jealous. Ha! If I'm making one of the sisters jealous, it's a good choice. I'm glad. The saleswoman wraps the present up for me after it's paid for. Now for the moment of truth. I walk around to the back of the Christmas tree where I had hid Cowrie's present. As soon as I find it, I hand it to her with a grin. Merry Christmas. Her smile broadens as she takes the present. She unravels the bow on top and then rips apart the wrapping paper. Cowrie's eyes light up. Aww, this is beautiful! She holds up the jewelry. It sparkles against the Christmas lights. She beams, throwing her arms around me. Thank you so much! My face spreads into a genuine grin. Do you really like it? She plants a quick kiss on my cheek. I love it. My face turns warm with a bright, happy blush. Score, so not all too much different than some of the other ones, just a different approach of how Naomi might like it when, uh, when we're picking it out. This is a good place to start. What were you thinking of getting my little sister? Oh... Uh, what about a watch? Everyone needs to tell time. Would Kauri wear a watch? Naomi raises an eyebrow. That's not romantic at all. She does have a point. I should pick something else. What about the dress then? Kauri's practical, but she likes to dress cute. Maybe I could go with clothing. I was thinking of a dress. Naomi perks up in her area of expertise. Oh, 
That's a good idea. I can help you pick out something cute. Really? Thanks. Sure, come on. I know the perfect store. Of course you do. She guides me out of the jewelry shop. We walk a few stores down until she leads me into a clothing store. Most of their displays have mannequins wearing short, fancy dresses. I'm not sure what to pick. There's so many options. I take my time perusing through all of the different ones before stumbling upon a lengthy dress with an open back. Kauri would look super hot in this. Hmm. But Kauri doesn't necessarily go for that kind of look. What do you think? I hold it up for Naomi. A wicked grin sparks across her face. I don't like that grin. I think that's perfect. I don't trust you. Same here. Why do you trust that smile? Her grin broadens. No, stop trusting that smile. Hope and excitement unfurl in my chest. I must be better at this than I thought. No, she's baiting you into bad times. We go up to the counter. Luckily, there isn't a long wait. After we buy the dress, I'm feeling pretty proud of myself. Uh, it's going to be replaced with another feeling in just a moment. I have a feeling that's going to happen. I'm glad I got you here to guide me. I would have second-guessed myself. Naomi giggles. No worries. That's what I'm here for. Ready to go? I don't I don't trust this girl one bit, but yeah, let's let's see how the wife who likes it. Okay, this is the one moment of truth. I have no idea how it's gonna go. I'm a little afraid. I walk around to the back of the Christmas tree where I had hid Kauri's present. As soon as I find it, I hand it to her with a grin. Merry Christmas. Her smile broadens as she takes the present. She unravels the bow on top and then rips apart the wrapping paper. Kauri freezes, her breath catching in her throat. I don't know if this is good. I'm a little afraid. She carefully holds up the dress I bought for her and stares at it. You don't like it. Panic flares inside of me, and I glance at Naomi. She seems unconcerned. This... She has betrayed me? I didn't say that. I don't... I'm afraid now. I thought it was nice. It is! Then, what's the problem? There isn't one. I'm confused. Okay... I think that means she likes it. It's very pretty, Kauri. You should try it on. Right now? Yes. Right now, I'm curious. Naomi winks at me. Of course right now. Come on, he bought it for you. At least see if it fits. Right. I'm trusting her less and less now. She picks up the dress and rushes to the bathroom. After a few moments, I hear the door open again and perk up like a bloodhound that just caught whiff of a rabbit. Kauri's footsteps pad against the floor as she makes her way back to the living room. And then... Oh my... God, do I have some good taste! Man, what was I worried about? I picked this dress out! See, I have some good ideas occasionally, and she looks fantastic in it. And she's happy, and she knows she looks hot in it. My mouth drops open. The dress hugs her figure perfectly. The open back teases me with a glimpse of her skin and draws my eyes down the firm curve of her behind. Her legs seem to go on for miles as the skirt flows over her feet. Her face is bright red. What do you think? You look like a goddess. I'm ready to put those gifts to good use. This was a good choice. Straight up compliment right here. You are a goddess. I'm a mere mortal. Not worthy. I can't find the words to express just how beautiful she looks. 
all I can do is stare and wonder how someone like me was able to get someone as radiant as her. I ask myself that every day. You look amazing. Her blush deepens as she tucks a lock of hair away from her face and damn cute. Kauri's face is pink as she admires the dress. Thank you for the gift. I love it. I can't keep my eyes off of her. My pleasure. She turns to go. Where are you going? As much as I love this dress, it's getting kind of chilly. Fair. Take one last look. She's looking a bit perky. That makes sense. I'm taking one last look. I'm going to watch, watch that walk away. Wait a minute. Kauri turns back to me, and I take in the view one more time with one last lingering look. I wish she could wear this forever, but I understand that it's not exactly suited for winter. Okay. She looks at me curiously. What was that? I just wanted to make sure I had this moment captured in my memory. She blushes again before turning away. Score! Kari returns back into her room. A moment later, she's back in her casual clothes and plops back down in her, into her seat beside me. Kari takes a moment to recompose, then shoots me a shy smile. I bought you a gift too. I know you did. Damn, that was... Okay. My necklace seems piss poor in comparison. That's that's probably probably the best option. Don't you agree? And that is going to be it for the end of this video. I wanted to go through all those options. I'm not going through the flowers and chocolate because let's be honest, you get flowers and chocolate when you screwed up or a random gift for Christmas. It's a terrible idea. They're probably going to send me back to pick another option, and you all know I'm going to pick the dress. What was your favorite gift to give, Kauri? Let me know in the comments down below. And, as always, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button down below or leaving another comment. It really does help me out. If you're new to the channel and want to see more content like this, make sure to unleash your power by hitting the subscribe button down below today as well and ringing that little bell to stay notified when new videos go live. Also, feel free to follow me on social media. Links to those will be in the description down below as well. And I will see all you heroes in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. May the force be with you. And have a great rest of your day. Take care.